What's up everyone? Welcome to Cracker. Uh, my previous video was extremely long, uh, so I apologize, but there was just so much stuff to talk about. And uh, <coughs> sorry for my <coughs> rambling. Sorry, still pretty sick. Um, I got shipment in uh, today. It's funny because it's been a couple hours since I uploaded the other video. Uh, well, made the other video. And um, got the shipment. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'll just make another video. Um, very, very, very pleasantly surprised, uh, in a way, I guess, is, is the way to go. Um, I had gotten this, I'm going to show you the comic, but this guy threw in a lot of free comics uh, along with it, so not only did I get a really cool comic that I wanted, but I also got a bunch of free ones that I didn't even have. Um, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> I'll show you what it is, I got a great deal on this one. Um, I've been wanting this issue for a lot. A lot for a long time. Oh man, I'm losing it. Uh, I did already open this stuff up because uh, this is actually the second take of this video because my computer kind of just blew out for a second there. I had a little bit of a power surge. So I did have the original unboxing, but um, you know, what can I tell you? Things happen. So, uh, but anyway, this is an issue I wanted for a long time, and a lot of times the, uh, the condition was really poor, and I didn't really want to get a poor condition one especially for the price they were charging and I finally found one that was in great condition and it was a great price and I wound up winning the bid which I was shocked <coughs> but this is Amazing Spider-Man number 149 and I would say it's fine very fine almost near mint uh, issue which I believe is the first spider clone and the origin of the jackal um, I just thought this was a cool cover I, I've been wanting it for a long time I'm like ah, I'll get it I'll get it but I never found the right price that I was happy with um, this actually, I won the bid for, I think it was, I think it was like six, five or six bucks I won the bid, and uh, it was like two dollars shipping, which is pretty cool. So, for the condition it's in, that's a pretty good price, and the guy threw in a whole bunch of free comics, um, which I don't have, I actually have one of them, but you know what, it doesn't matter, they were free, they were thrown in there. Um, I'd probably put the range on these... Uh, for grading wise if you want to go for it probably very good to find give or take uh, but Marvel team up featuring Spider-Man and Daredevil number 25 don't have that one it's pretty cool for free uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 140 don't have that one <laughs> Marvel premiere featuring Wonder Man 1D's first solo saga number 55 didn't even know that existed that's pretty cool I am a Wonder Man fan. Uh, Web of Spider-Man number 33. Very cool. It's probably very good condition. It's got a couple bends here and there. But you know what? It's free. Didn't have it. And the ironic thing, kind of funny, is I was actually bidding on uh, this particular issue I'm going to show you. And I went up losing. And it was actually... It went up the bid. I think I had my my max bid. I think it was like 10 bucks, And it went up to 15 And I didn't get it. But like I said in the other video, things happen for a reason. The guy gave it to me for free in this thing. as Web of Spider-Man number 42. I just thought that was a really cool cover with Mary Jane. And I would have paid, you know, $10 and $3 shipping, so 13 bucks if I won it. And I didn't win it. Went up to $15, and now I wound up getting it for free anyway. It's funny how things work. Um, Spectacular Spider-Man number 145. Very cool. It does suck that I'm bags and boards, but you know what? They were free. I can't really bitch. And this one is the one I do have, but you know what? It's cool to have. Uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man number 311. I love that cover. It's one of my favorite ones. Just think it's really, really cool. And this is probably maybe like a, a very good to find because it's got a little bit of spine wear. But um, and you know what? Maybe, like I said in the other video, future trade. I'll have to see. All right. Moving on to my next uh, package, which is interesting uh, in a way. <coughs> I talked about this uh, stuff before when I was a kid I was very uh, into collecting obviously toys and uh, cards but I never really went for sports stuff I was always like a garbage pill kid kind of guy and um, when I had started collecting uh, my cousin actually got me into garbage pill kids he had the entire first series and I was like oh what are these and, and basically if you don't know what garbage pill kids is man it was huge in the 80s they were like a knockoff of the Cabbage Patch Kids. They were kind of making fun of them. And um, <clears throat> they became huge. 
And uh, they had all different variations. Like they had, you know, obviously Series 1, which now is worth a fortune. Um, it's insane how much, like you can, if you can find, I've seen on eBay like a sealed box of Series 1 going for like over like $1,000. And um, usually if you want to try to buy individual cards, they're like 11 to like $60 depending. And I was like, wow, that's insane. But uh, like I said, Series 2 is the one I've, I really kind of, that's what I started off with when I was a kid. Um, and I loved them, you know, I, like I said, I got in a lot of trouble in school when I was trading them, got caught, lost a few here and there, you know, and, uh, used to beg my mom, because they would always sell them at, like, 7-Eleven and stuff like that, whenever we went in there, you know, can I get a pack of cards, can I get a pack of cards, you know, like, they were a quarter, you know, she's like, yeah, 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 you know, no, no problem, whatever, but, um, when you're a kid, it's funny, because I, I kind of want to put into this, into the other issue, uh, video, but when you're a kid, uh, you know, you collect stuff, you never, you're not getting it to, usually you're not getting it to think like, oh, you know, 10 years from now, it's going to be worth a fortune, you know, when you're a kid, you're getting it because if it's a toy, because you want to play with it, you really want that toy, uh, and if it's a card, you just think it's awesome, and you want to, like, trade with your friends and be, like, the cool kid, like, you know, at lunch, you're like, look, I got this card, you know, <coughs> which totally, is totally true with me, that's how I was, I'm like, oh, look what I got, you know, and, um, always excited, and uh, to see who got the better card and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so what happened was when I was a kid and you know, I had Series 2, I had pretty much I had the entire Series 2. Uh, I had all of Series 3. I had all of Series 4. And then I stopped. You know, I didn't I didn't go very f much farther than Series. Actually, no, I think I did. I, I went to Series 6, but I didn't get all of them. Like, it was, like, you know, sporadic here and there. I wasn't really a collector. I was, I liked Series 2 because the cards I thought were awesome. And, uh, of course, me, like I said, like many of my stuff, moving around all the time, just just gone, you know. Just, they either got tossed or, you know, destroyed or whatever it was. And um, Garbage Pail Kids and the people that made them, in their infinite wisdom, has decided to put out, they have flashback cards now. Uh, which is like, it's the old cards, but they're just like, you know, on, on a new backing, which I'll show you. Uh, this I actually have... Um, I bought a couple flashback series, and I've got a whole stack. Usually what they also have is, is where are they now? Like, this is, uh, and the funny thing with, with Garbage Pail Kids, they always had two cards for each character with different names. Same exact cards, just different names. Like, this is, a uh, Chris Hiss from Where Are They Now? And also he was Greaser Greg. So I got both of them on the back. It shows you the original card. This was from Series 1, I believe. And then this is where they are now. So now he's the head of the mafia. <laughs> but it's um, it's cool, you know. It's a flashback series. They're not, you know, who knows. Again, like I said, you know, 10, 15 years from now, they might be worth money. <coughs> um, yeah, I got a... Uh, I think this is from Series 3. I'm not really sure. doesn't always tell you. Uh, Ella P. Record and Fritz Spritz. Dole getting ready to piss on the record player. Then I have, uh, <laughs> I think it was series, be better if they put the thing on it, but they didn't tell me, I feel it's just messy, messy. Uh, as you can see, like I said, they're all, you can tell by the flashbacks, because they all have the, uh, the yellow or green different borders around there, show it's not the original. Uh, this one even says it, <laughs> Garbage Pail Kids flashbacks, Lem Flem. Yeah, they're pretty disgusting little characters, but they were fun, especially when you were a kid. Keith out, which is a, <coughs> on the back it says, it's a lost Garbage Pill Kid, this card features a never before published original Garbage Pill Kid painting from the 80s, so this was a guy they never did, which is pretty cool, which I'm sure 10, 15 years from now, even though the flashback series, like, you know, so the remakes of the original cards, stuff like that will probably be worth something, you know, down like, oh, these are the ones we never did, and we only have in the flashback series. Um, this was Series 2, I believe this was from. This is Hurt, Kurt, or Pat Splat. As you can see, like I said. Uh, in the old series, it would be like, you know, Card A, and then it would be one name, and then Card B would be another name. Uh, this is First Ada, or Intense Pain. Surreal Neil or Dangling Dolly. And 
and I think this was season two, uh, series, season two, series three, or season, series two or three, I don't know. Tag Ted or Sprayed Wade. This was series two. This is uh, Jolted Joel. And the other one, I think, was like Live Mike. And it's funny because they actually have a Garbage Pail Kid fake Facebook on the back. It's like a joke. Um, and occasionally they would also throw in um, like this weird, uh, what is this thing? It's a temporary tattoo with a Latin. <laughs> and they also have certain ones which are foil cards. This is uh, Boney Joni. It's a foil one. Well, gold foil, whatever you want to call it. And they have uh, Leaky Lou. I believe they were from the Series 1. Then they have these, uh, what the hell are these things are? They're like, uh, from Series 3, Basket Casey. Uh, Marvel on the court, Basket Casey is the only basketball player in the world who's willing to go ahead and take the shot with his own head. Uh, it's a trading card game. They come in the packs. They got Leaky Lou. Yicky Mickey. <laughs> and, uh, Dead Ted. And, uh, this is actually, this is, these are one of the new, uh, I think in the flashback series they also have, obviously not just the, the flashback cards, but they also have, um, newer cards. And this one was awesome, um, <laughs> Wolverine, which makes fun of Wolverine, sticking it through his nose. Uh, martial arts, artists. Oh, my phone. <laughs> And this one's making fun of Hulk Hogan. Russell Mania. <laughs> then they have uh, an activity card. Strange stuff. <laughs> Noah's Barf. Elliot Nest. Carol Cell. He's got the thing going through. <laughs> Tom Bunk. <laughs> oh, after me again. So many texts. Tusky Tiffany. This is the from Series 6. Yeah, these are some of my older ones. Uh, Socked Brock. Axe and Jackson. Uh, Megan Trouble and Jumpin' Jen. Just jumping on barbed wire. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, Sam Castle. Yeah, they were really messed up cards back in the day. They had, you know, really crazy ones. Barbecue Stew. Dog's Doug. He's actually a can of dog food. Nick Pick. It's pretty nasty. And of course, there's my my. Uh, this is from Series Five. <coughs> uh, Christina Barfarina. <laughs> and they actually had um, on some of the old series they had like cartoons kind of thing they would show. Esther Basket. Bolton Colton. Asteroid Anthony. Pizza Face Chase. Fat Phil. Kyle Tile. <laughs> Bonehead Ed. Twice Bryce. Disgusting Dustin. Booker Brian. This one's nasty. Juicy Jazz. 
go brush our teeth with that. That's foul. Shelled Michelle. Idol Ivan. Al Adden Fumes. <laughs> Cleaved Steve. Yeah, some of these aren't that old, but I'm going to get into the whole point of this in, in a moment. I'm trying to get through them quick. Uh, Hi, Man Dan. Headless Leslie. And Madison Hath, same one, different name. Impale Dale. Breezy Brady. Vomit and Victor. Roger Logger. <laughs> That's nasty. Throw on a big old, big old shit log. <laughs> Fired Fred. That one's pretty interesting. Poophead Paul. And Turd Face Trace. It's one of the older cards. Congested Jessica. That's pretty nasty. Monica Ailes. Snaky Jake and Charming Charlie. So the same one. So that will do it for that. Now, the whole point of this, to show that, is, um, like I said, I went, went online, found eBay, and I won a couple of uh, auctions from Series 2 and Series 1. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards when I was a kid. And uh, obviously, I, I don't have it anymore. I haven't been with. I do have boxes of cards, and I've gone through them, but I haven't found any Garbage Pill Kids. But, you know, this is only a dollar. And uh, the guy threw in a lot of uh, extras. Which is pretty cool. So I spent about, I spent, uh, which was it? it was three bucks altogether in free shipping. But he threw in a lot of extra cards. I got Lukewarm from Series 2. It's one of my favorite cards when I was a kid. So I forget the hell with it. It's cheap. Put it in a top loader, which is cool. It's in great shape. So I'm happy. The got Nat Nerd. It's from Series 1, I believe. This one was another one of my favorites from Series 2, Cracked Jack. That guy threw in Charred, Charred Chad. Series 2, very cool. Now these, um, these are from the UK. He threw them in for free. These were, um, as you can see, here's you know, the size of the card. This is Series 1 from the UK. See how much smaller they are than uh, the actual ones we had. But um, this is Series 1 from the United Kingdom. Geeky Gary. Rockin' Robert. Which I don't know if they're worth more money because they're from the UK or they're worth less. But uh, Series 1, Dead Ted. Fry and Brian. Broad Maud. Got this one. Uh, they, they included pretty much all these in there. Nikki Hickey. Stuff Steven and Mouth Phil. Those are UK cards. Um, the guy threw in a couple of extra ones. I don't even know what series these are. But um, Hooked Howie, Alcatraz, Rearview Myra, <laughs> and Juicy Bruce. <laughs> so I got them from eBay, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I basically I bought Lukewarm. And he gave me a lot of other ones for free, which is kind of cool. So I kind of lucked out on eBay with this so far. Bought a comic, got a lot of cool free comics. And uh, it's a long-ass video, again, which I'm trying not to. <coughs> but something else I wanted to show for my collection, which I wanted to... I just I was going through box cards, like I said. Found my 30th anniversary foil Spider-Man card. And uh, these are the ones I was trying to tell people about, which I think I've showed them before, but... McFarlane put out a special thing of Spider-Man cards called Webs, which also tied into uh, the comic book series because Peter Parker made a book of all his Spider-Man photos called Webs. And uh, this is what one of them looks like. It's obviously the black suit. And there were stickers. There were sticker cards. Like you could peel, kind of like ours, you could peel them off. But uh, that's one of them. 
and this is another one. Which I do, I'm pretty sure I have a whole bunch of them. Like I said, I was going through cards. And I have so many different boxes of cards I gotta sort. I might even have still a lot of Garbage Pail Kids, but... This was, a. Uh, it's another one, and then they were stickers, but then they also had Mc, regular McFarlane cards. Yeah, the McFarlane era. Shows on the back. It's a hot looking Mary Jane. And this was from the 30th anniversary. Spider-Man. So stuff like that. That uh, will do it for my eBay haul. And uh, my extremely long garbage bill thing. Uh, anyway. Uh, if you like what we see, please hit the like button. If you like what we see, subscribe. Uh, definitely check out some of the other people, like I said, uh, on the shout-out video. Check that out. Check them all out. Uh, if it's not the size of your ranking that matters, that's what you have in it. And what I have in it is a lot of cool comics and uh, garbage show kids right now. <laughs> Later.